and here we have also the indication of the instrument air and the filter regulator so it means that the instrument air is, a, is, is in a pressure higher than is allowable for the control valve actuator and because of, of that we need a filter regulator and here we have also the information of the fail, pos fail safe position of the valve in this case we have uh, fail close so if the instrument air fails or if the instrument air is closed this valve it will automatically or, or mechani mechanically close because it needs instrument air to, to operate. In this PNID, we don't have this kind of information. At the first sight, we don't know if the valve safe position is closed or opened. Usually, for cooling system, it is fail open because we, we don't, don't want to take out the refrigeration in a cooling down process. But to confirm that, we need to go to the control valve process, to control valve data sheet, specification data sheet, and we don't have the information about the, the signal range, but as it is a control valve, and this is the, the representation of a diaphragm, it needs also instrument air, although it is not shown in the PNID. And it is an interface between uh, instrumentation team and piping team and the process engineering and some, some companies prefer to have that kind of information in the in detailed design instead of showing that in the PNID because as you can see there are much more information in the in the in the the drawing when we use the ISA symbol uh, symbols and philosophy and in this case it's much simpler there is no wrong or right but you need to be alert to comply with the company's company requirement.